Hello everyone once again welcome to another Route 66 show It's been a bit of a emotional week I know It made me actually look through the files to a time when we went to Keswick in um, 2016 And we had a chance meeting with the Prince Anyway we'll show you a few pictures from that now See you in a minute Autumn leaves are falling, seasons come and go You know I'm a bad apple, but you still come back for more Just as old blue eyes, wanting so much fun I'll see you in the morning when the night's work is done Let's see for all blue eyes back to you Just one more try, you know you want some It's no surprise, here I am all blue eyes Let's see for all blue eyes back to you Just one more try, you know you want some It's no surprise, here I am all blue eyes Life's just a cabaret, can be so much fun Forgetting all your worries as if there were none That's life as we know it, shaken but not stirred Just a little adventure, a major role we play Let's see if we're all blue eyes back to give Just one more try, you know you want some, it's no surprise here I am, all blue eyes Let's see if you're all blue eyes Back to give just one more try You know you want some, that's no surprise Here I am, all blue eyes And for a new reason Just to be... So that was our chance meeting with Prince Charles at the time Pretty good, eh? Here we got to have a word with him And he was a very nice man So now it's on to Hedgehog Watch Lovely little picture here. This is Charlie. He's Daryl's hedgehog. Been going there for 20 odd years. Lovely one, that one, Daryl. Not to be left out is George, our little hedgehog. Yeah, he's running around the side of the house. Can I have to run, can't we? I never thought they could run that fast. But look at him go. I bet if George and Charlie had a race, that George would win, don't you? On your marks, get set, go on, it's George, he's miles out in front there, beating Charlie by a head. Charlie's coming up, but George is still there, George decides to go the other way around, oh no, he could be disqualified. He's going back, he's going back, he's gone. George and Charlie, eh, what about that? I had to show you this one, because the dance is growing bigger and bigger in popularity. Anyhow, with Paul's dance troupe from Best Get Up, here I go again. <laughs> Thank you. 
you enjoyed that. Uh, the old welder be doing Paul's dance, will they? To finish up on, I found this old bit of film. I keep feeling like I'm finding these things. So it's an old documentary made in 2015, I think it was. Uh, Inkwood Heritage Lottery. It's called A Great For Your Life. Enjoy it and I'll see you all next week. Bye everyone. <laughs> Moved on to Greatfield. It was in the 70s, uh, in 1971, um, and I first moved there. An old house into Greatfield, which had a bathroom and hot water, which was wonderful. I only had a cold water tap in the other house. And I liked it. I, um, it was very strange when I first moved up there because there was no, there weren't many shops. Where That's where it we came from. You know, I like Jane. Shops, you know yeah. what I mean? And there weren't men. You know, people had to work, but I had to work from where I am. Yeah. Sorry about my whole yeah. 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 Got my keys today for great fees. Look out the country as far as you see. Let's throw away that old tin bag. Washing in the backyard, no. To work, I had to work from where I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was a van that came round, but obviously it was very expensive. Sorry, I'm yeah. talking. They had, they had the what you wanted on the van, but they, they charged the money. You know what I mean? um, but it was nice. Yeah, it was clean. Had, we had a garden. Yeah, but we'll sit here. But you can hear. But you don't like it. I want to talk i
at the Elms mm-hmm. Residential Home, the topic of the interview, life on Greatfield, the early years. Early years. Yeah. We heard you were one of the first residents to live on Greatfield. And on Dale Road. Falkland was built first. Falkland Road was built first. St Hilda's wasn't there. But from the cemetery, there was a few corporation houses. We had a doctor's surgery in one of them houses. Dr King. Yeah. Then Falkland was built, Doddswell, and the little Ashwell School. But further this way, there was no buildings. But they started building, and that's when we got our houses. Mm. No paths, no shops like they have now. Have you been on Annandale? Mm. Have you been on Greatfield? Yeah, I live on Greatfield. Where do you live? I live on down Fox Hill. Fox Hill, yes. Oh, yes, I know it. There was no shops when I went. No paths. Do you know where the church is? The Catholic church, not St Hilda's? No, St Stephen's. St Stephen's. Well, is it corner of Bainbridge? That's right. Come this way. There's four, four bedroom houses. Is that where you are? Mine was the first one. One or four. That's a good memory. Isn't it? A monk house was built in 1959. And in the very first house on the roof of the estate. And um, I moved in from Barnsley Street, which was, oh, years I lived at Barnsley Street. And uh, a very small box of box service then. But my new house, as I called it, is a four bedroom, uh, and my garden goes right. Down the saddle, like an L shape, which is a lovely house. When you got the house, like, did you choose them or did you? Well, I had to choose them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
If you've got three minutes of it, if it was four minutes of it, you've got a quarter of an hour doctor. Yeah, that's the, that was the same at Hollis's and yeah. them places that were. Yeah. You used to get three minutes, and then if you was more than three minutes, you used to get docs. Quarter of an hour. Quarter of an hour, that. I know what, I've been down this area and I don't take my wrong car in. One forty-two, one Plan day used to be over there, Plan E, where all the dockers used to go and have the dinner. It's only 1.33 it has, but I think. 1.32 now, I think. And you have to have your own. There's the ferry, look, in the dock there, look. You see the ferry in the dock, Jill? Yeah, yeah. Is that that big flag on? That's an old sea ferry. Yeah, the one with the flag on it. Look, you see the different coloured flag on it on the top. The big blue flag. Oh. Imperial typewriters on the left hand side. Yeah, typewriters. There's no Willoughby holiday on, but it used to be Imperial typewriters. Yeah, and every, right. like, anybody who was anybody in all the used to work there. In all them years, there. it was a typewriter place. I used to work there during the day. Did you? Barbara. And when you look at the old typewriters now, there's not many of them at in made by Imperial yeah. typewriters, is there? No. No. Can you remember when that closed down? It was quite a lot of years ago. It's a bit long, long. Because it's been Willoughby holiday. Quite a few years now oh, yeah. that that's it's been gone. My well, kids was little. But yeah. the time and I used to work there part time. To and while I was working it. there, or just after I left, that they closed down. So yeah. it'll have been, what? Well, Auntie Lily and Auntie Rita used to work in Cod Liver Island. 69, in the 70s, Auntie it must have closed again. My memories of Greatfield, before it was completed, I was on a cooperative grocery van doing Annandale Road, right? Because the shops was not completed. So what I saw was people moving in the houses a lot of people that was already living in them. But the gardens was covered in planks because it was thick mud so they could get out the front door. They used to come to the cup van for the groceries, the milk checks, order the coal because there was coal fires in them days. Um, some of the houses looked as though there'd no residents in because people couldn't afford to get all the net curtains. Mm. They sent huge horrific windows to the old street houses, what they'd left. The same with the carpets, they had to buy really large carpets so some people didn't get the carpets for a few months to follow but at the same time there was over the moon with excitement for the large kitchens hot and cold water mm. inside toilets um, the builders used to come across buying different lemonade drinks and bread cakes and also looking back on them days none of them had building hats on mm. or the correct boots what you to wear these days regulations <laughs> Truck would pull up 
and it reminded me of prison camp because all the women in the street would get on it, go take a pick in, and one of the women would stay back to look after the kids. And then the next day she'd go and earn money, take a pick in, while one yeah. of the other women stayed at home. Just go and get a couple of like five bob a day, take a pick in. She said, you know what, money? So that was great. We could go. The back she was to be breaking next day. I always remember them all. Oh, you've been on the you've been on the wagon, and they didn't mean not having a drink. They meant going picking potatoes. Well, I came to live on uh, on Greatfield in 1970. Before I lived here, I lived on St Paul Street, which is in the city centre. It was a big, big change for me. But I came to my dream house. Um, it was everything I ever wanted. I had hot water. I had a garden for the kids to play in. Whereas where I lived before. I lived in a two up and two down, no hot water, um, very old concrete all over, it was everything. Schools round the corner for the Baines, the school for my Baines was two minutes from me. We had parks, we had um, everything that the Baines wanted it, and I lived down a little close with a green just at the top of my path. So there was no main roads mm. that could play out from morning till night. And I knew what they were saying. The great field life is meant to be. Jump on the bus all there to see. 41 or is it 43? Also new for you and for me. Bands to and fro and selling the wares. The cold but you live us without a care. Taking the kids to a brand new school. Grass and the playground so tasteful. A great feel life is meant to be Jump on a bus all there to see 41 or is it 43 Also new for you and for me Talk to the neighbours, well what do you think You reckon you like it here Well there's no going back now I guess And a big happy birthday to Lindsay. Happy birthday, Lindsay. See you next week.